All right, guys. So, thanks for joining us. This is Tech Junkies World, and what we're gonna do is go over some Sims stuff. Let's let's take a look at my Sims pack. So right now, I want to go over all my packs. I have werewolves, of course. I've got Cottage Living, Snowy Escape, uh, Discovery University, uh, Island Living, Get Famous, uh, Seasons. Sit living, get together, uh, get to work, and various packs. Um, I also have the uh, Dream Decor, uh, Realm of Magic, uh, Parenthood, and Vampires. And let's see, oh, werewolves. I think I mentioned werewolves. So in this pack, we have a main character. Her name is Keisha Layton. That's the one that you see. Oh, I also have a uh, uh, vintage. Glamour and Luxury Party. Um, uh, so let's go on to Keisha's, Keisha's uh, uh, family. So a little bit, bit of background about this character. Keisha, she uh, pretty much is leveled up on everything. Like everything she's, she's and you'll see uh, once we get to that point. So she's leveled up on, on everything. She has a husband. His name is Arturo Layton. And she has uh, three small children. Well, well, three, three, three children living in the home. She also has another child uh, outside of her of her um, current marriage from a previous marriage. So it's a lot going on. I've been playing with Keisha Layton for a long time. So we'll see. Uh, let's and uh, let's let it load up. It takes some time to load up, as you guys know to uh, load everything up but uh, let's let it um, get all load up, loaded up and uh, we'll go from there <laughs> it's funny some of these uh, um, little quirky things feeling sick recover recover faster by drinking tea and orange juice that is absolutely true um, as many of you might know if you're sick magnolia promenade okay world shopping awaits <laughs> and I've, I've been in uh, we played that as well Okay, so for this video, this video only, the uh, next videos, when we do the next ones, they're going to be, they're going to include the, uh, you know, some music and stuff. We had a little technical issue, but there's a lot going on in this video that you'll see, and I, want, I wanted to uh, explain it, and because I can't redo it, um, it's already been saved, so what I wanted to do was... Uh, still go through it even though there's not you know the sims music sometimes you'll hear the sims music in the background and you can hear their different interactions but in this video there's not going to be um, any sound on that part but but uh but you know of course you'll see everything but it, it, you won't ha hear the sound you'll just hear me uh talking and hopefully um <laughs> ho hopefully it's it's uh, good enough for you guys to enjoy <laughs> all right so let's see Still loading up. Until you you guys can fast forward, I'll have a uh, I'll put in the uh, comments where you can fast forward to. Once the uh, gameplay starts, there's going to be some some building, a little bit uh, not really building, but um, some buying of certain items. Uh, a lot of explaining uh, as far as the character. She's in school. You know, a lot of stuff going on with her. And her husband, both of them are in, his, in school. They both uh, um, are very close to graduating. So, okay, looks like it's almost up. Okay. 
it looks like we're almost done. Uh, almost, almost loaded up. Yeah. All right, so here, here in this scene, uh, Keisha, she's got uh, some studying to do. So I went ahead and, um, oh, wait a minute. Looks like the twins. She has a twin, uh, Maribel and Isabel. So Maribel, let's pick a trait for her. Um, let's see. So Maribel. And she's going to be aged up to a um, just a regular kid, uh, to a kid from a toddler. So I think we're going to do uh, since they're twins. Let's do good tw good twin, bad twin, and uh, let's make this one. Hmm. Thinking about making her a hothead. Okay, they're self-assured. There's, yeah, let's make her a hothead. That should be very interesting. And also, yeah, whiz kid. We're gonna make her a whiz kid as well. All right. Okay. So Maribel and Isabel right at the same time because they're twins. <laughs> So Isabella is going to be um, the good twin. We'll just leave her uh, as good. She's going to be a bookworm, which is cool. <laughs> nice trait of a, of a yeah, good, quick, good kid. And a uh, social butterfly, yeah. So she's going to be popular, yet she's going to be a bookworm as well. So that's, that's going to be pretty cool. So for Keisha, and we are... Uh, we are, excuse me, I've got a little, slight little cold, but not really, just, just really sniffles. But uh, but for uh, Keisha, let's look at her. Let's go through all of her stuff. Like I, like I said, she's got a lot going on. Um, she is immortal. Uh, that's one of the main things. She's definitely immortal. Um, she's, she's got all this other stuff going on where, um, so you've got... Um, a mortal steel bladder, um, all sorts of good stuff to to where she can uh, take advantage of, of everything that's in, <laughs> pretty much. So, yeah, and as you can see, she is um, waterproof, she's self assured, she's a speed reader, gym rat. Um, Yeah, so, and also she's, she's a friend of the Wild Fangs. Um, that's one thing to note. Uh, her brother, who I made recently, and I leveled him up uh, in the uh, werewolf ranks. We're going to be playing him once we uh, do some stuff with Keisha and her core family. Um, also, Keisha has uh, uh, Unstoppable Fangs. She was an actress. So you'll notice that... Um, you know, when the paparazzi comes by, she's got all that stuff going on with uh, all those, all those um, uh, act, actress uh, benefits and uh, uh, different things that she can do. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's an user. She's shrewd. Shrewd is important because she's getting about 5%. She's super rich. As you can tell, it's almost 900,000 simoleons that um, that she she has available to spend. So uh, the reason for that was her. She started out as an author. 
And if you want to make a lot of money in the Sims, like right away, one of the surest ways to to uh, to write and just to write and write and write and write. So she did that. She also um, licensed a few songs. She did some DJing, um, and she also became an actress. The actress. Now the first first initially the first the easiest way to um, make money was. Uh, uh, becoming a um, uh, writer, the actress field. She made so much money so quickly when she leveled up, and uh, the number was like one hundred thousand. Then it was two. It just kept multiplying um, exponentially. So, plus she she also had her writing. So, I'm not even trying at this point. Uh, there's some DJing. If you can see in the background, there's some DJing. Here's her genealogy. Where you can see that she has she has three kids, right? Um, her brother is Jason Layton. He started out. I did a genetic uh, thing where um, I just made him from her, and he started out uh, as a spellcaster. So I had to get that um, ask for that to be removed. Uh, you know how you can go to you know the, the their realm and do that, and then he became a werewolf. So we're gonna we're gonna go into his field. Also, you can see that she has other children. Well, she has one more child, and two grandkids, and and uh, um, since she's immortal, you can see her her first child. He's he's actually pretty old. Um, I think his name is Jack Layton. I, I think I miss. I haven't played him in so long. I think it was Jack, um, but I can. I'd have to look back. Okay, so what we want to do is is make sure. Oh, we got some stuff going on here. Uh -oh. Okay, well, what we want to do is make sure. I'm thinking of. Okay, so this she has potion of immortality to uh, to make some other people in the world immortal. Some of the vampires, well, I'll say most of the vampires, there's a little glitchy stuff going on. Um, she turned them to human. And there's there's a way you can do that with um, uh, a certain juice and stuff like that. Uh, but I'll go into that. I just want to show you really quick her spellcaster perk. She's got everything. Everything, pretty much, that you can think of. And everything's all leveled up. Um, at this point, it's just accumulating, and she's not using any of her her points towards her spellcaster because because she's all leveled up. But the thing is, with uh, and also she's a Zen Zen guru. Um, there's a lot uh, going on. With, well, not really. Zen guru actually is not much. We can do that later on. And what I think I'm going to do is have Arturo level up so that she can get this last piece here. Become a member, um, uh, become a master, sorry, wellness teacher. So, what I'm going to do is have her, um, have Arturo, Arturo level up eventually, and then they can do that. Uh, she can get that, and she'll be a master wellness, and reap those benefits too. So, as if she doesn't have enough, right? <laughs> so, these are her courses. So, you got King Jir. Um, ton of stuff going on, and she has a C right now. But we just want to make sure she graduates because she's under the distinguished uh, program in university. You can apply for, you can uh, uh, get into the distinguished portion, which she is, or just a regular version. And I've heard in different places that you, the distinguished is is pretty much the best. Um, and if you can have a good, G, uh, really good GPA or have an honor roll, that's pretty much the best you can do. But I really wanted to find out after her, her graduating, I wanted to take a job, an acting job, and find out if her pay rate will go up. Because it's usually about 20000 per job she'll get. If you go in, you have to actually go in. You, don't, you can't just uh, tell, you can't just say let her go to 
go to her acting job and not actually go with her. Like, actually, you know, you can go to the job and do the job and stuff like that. So, um, I want to see what she's going to get paid. But um, these courses, she's taken four, which is quite a bit. It's it's quite a bit. And having all those children, it was it was really a lot. Um, having three kids and, and working that while uh, going to school. Plus, um, I, I, I put caution to the wind and left them for about a week. So that was my fault. They, they both uh, came on probation. Arturo, though, he's doing pretty good. He, uh, Arturo's doing really good, actually. He, he has one class left. So, and right now he has, I think he has an A minus GPA or something like that. And his major is computer science. So it looks like he is, uh, uh, yeah, A minus, 11 out of 12. He's on probation and all that stuff because I left. That's my fault. But um, when I say I left, I I have her brother in the same universe. I'll just say universe with same worlds or whatever. So when you leave, your sins are still playing, like that you played with. They're still doing stuff. And uh, so time went by. And I guess he didn't go to class or didn't do his homework or whatever. And now he's on probation. But he was still, still graduating. It was it's so weird. He had two classes left and maybe two days left. And I was, like, so excited about the werewolf pack. I just left. I love them and 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 uh, built her brother, um, Jason Layton, who we'll we'll get into with the uh, werewolf pack in the coming episodes. Uh, well, maybe in the current streams, we'll probably do um, we'll, we'll probably do uh, uh, a few a few of those. So what I'm doing here is uh, a really neat trick is just to. To, to delicioso. <laughs> if something goes bad, you just make your um, food, you know, pretty much um, good again. You know, it's not spoiled. So I usually do that, and that's pretty uh, handy with all these children running around. And now especially so that there, there are three um, kids, not toddlers, so they'll, they'll be eating more and stuff like that. Um, so I'm letting Arturo do his thing while Keisha studies for her um, classes and stuff. So I'm going to let her study, and I'm going to jump around to different people and stuff like that. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm looking at the twins' room. They still have these toddler beds. So I'm wondering... Let's see. So, oh, Arturo is doing pretty, having a lot of fun here. Zachariah is doing his thing. He looks like he's doing pretty good. Um, he's always on the piano. So maybe I'll get him into a musical career or something like that. There's one of the twins. She's all grown up. So this is our first look at the twins. And is this a good twin or bad twin? That's a bad twin, Maribel. Um, so she's up there looking at looking at her her brother Jason and let's let's take a look at their room for a second um, let's go ahead and and what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna go ahead and get them maybe some bunk beds or something and kind of do a little bit of rearranging in this room just to kind of get them get them a little bit more comfortable not too much because everything's pretty much here we've got their uh, a nice laptop here uh, maybe when they get older they can deal with this I don't, I don't know if kids can do painting uh, they may need a kids uh, aisle or easel or something like that um, let's see So let's go to comfort and let's go to beds and we're going to get, we're going to go ahead and get this uh, bunk bed for the girls. Okay.
All right, let's pick this one. Yeah, I think this one, this one is gonna work because it's got good stress relief, discomfort relief. I think that's the highest you can get for them as far as a bunk bed. And we will uh, we'll place this outside while we get rid of the uh, some of the other outside of the room, not outside, but it doesn't matter really, but outside of the room and we'll go ahead and get rid of, um, well, actually we can put the toddler beds, we'll put the toddler beds in the inventory, I think, yeah. Let's go ahead and put those toddler beds in the inventory, in our family inventory. Just in case, God forbid, that uh, Keisha has more kids uh, later, since she's immortal. I don't know. Uh, hopefully not. But um, I'm thinking, yes, yeah, so we'll get rid of these. And mm, I don't know if I should put these in family inventory or just wait and see. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll we'll get rid of that one. Let's keep it, and if they interact, but we'll get rid of these blocks, because and well, well, we won't get rid of it, but we'll uh, put it in family inventory. And what we want to do is just, you know, just kind of see how they interact with that, with with those uh, those tablets. I think they're supposed to be for toddlers, but we'll we'll see what happens if we can. Uh, if they'll still be able to interact with those. Um, but I don't know. We, we might. I think we should get rid of them. But I'll, I'll just leave them there for now. Um, I don't know. Maybe if a toddler comes by or something. <laughs> she, now she. Now Keisha doesn't know uh, people with kids. There was a point where they would ask you. Um, they, would, they would ask you. She has a few friends. She's got a club. And um, I think it's her club is called the Party Holics or something like that. Okay, so let's put this in here. Um, maybe once she graduates, we'll let her go on a uh, little outing with her group. They're pretty big, but um, she hasn't been out with them so long. Um, we can get rid of these uh, potties and yeah, she hasn't been out with her. Uh, Partyholic friends so long. Um, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> One of the members lives. That it's her um, daughter-in-law. She's actually living. Uh, Serena actually is is. Uh, I believe her name is Serena. I've been all over the place with this game, <laughs> but I, I think her name is Serena Walker. I don't know something like that. But um, and she's she's living in here. Um, living in this apartment, this uh, penthouse with Keisha. Uh, let's see. So let's try to get them something nice that they can have fun with the kids. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is gonna work. Yeah, let's get them this swing set. And I'm just going to put them out. They have a really nice outdoor area. I don't know if this is going to be tacky, but, you know, whatever. We can always get rid of it when they get older. I'm just going to throw it over here. So when the kids come out and when they, when they come outside, they'll be able to play on it. You know, they can swing and stuff like that. And it's still summer, so that'll work out pretty good. They've got... They've got uh, uh, two seasons pretty much to have some fun before it gets cold winter. So we're gonna uh, leave this out here for them. Alright, and just moving some things. Okay, so again, my little violin. Let's see, who's gonna play this violin? Yeah, I'll let the twins play with, with it. Um, their brother Jason, he's he's upstairs a lot on the on the uh, piano. So let's 
Let's see, should we get anything else? Or we should, should we just leave it like it is for now? There's different maybe pool options, but they have a pool. I think the kids can get in their pool at this point. So I may just leave it like it is. Um, let's get them journals. They should all have journals. I think that would be cool. And especially since Isabel is a bookworm, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure she'll, she'll use it. Okay. All right. Well, and that's not, that, we're going to leave it like this. So this is what the, look, the room looks like with their with their walls up. Not bad. Now this out here in the gym, it's just a big old mess. Uh, we've got these sleeping pods. I call them sleeping pods. But you know, when you sleep in these pods, uh, and I'm going to get rid of this. Um, that was like a, a little playhouse for the for the uh, toddlers. They don't need that now. Um, but but those two sleeping pods are there for the butler and Serena. But um, I think it's too noisy in here or open because neither of them sleep in it. I usually have to make Serena go to sleep upstairs, so it's 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 um it's a struggle with her in in this area. This is really a basketball court, and um, I just kind of make shifted into. Uh, basketball court slash other activities a <laughs> um, bunch of different activities you can do in there have fun all right let's go back to the gameplay and take a look at a few things here okay he's playing away he's having his fun Arturo Zachariah is happy. That's good. Okay, it's 3.24-ish p.m. Sunday, so they have school. Zachariah has some time to um, maybe do some homework or whatever. I'm going to let him do his own thing for now. Take a look at the twins, Maribel, Isabel. Okay. What is her needs? Uh, she's doing she's doing okay for right now. Isabel's doing okay. Yeah, it looks like that's the nanny asking. Oh, she's leaving. Nanny's leaving. <laughs> okay. I don't really think we need the nanny anymore since we have the butler. I think we have enough. Okay, so Mirabel, what's Mirabel up to? That's our bad twin, Mirabel. I mean, what? What's her? Uh, What's her, uh, okay, so she's got homework too, of course. Let's let her do her homework. And Isabel. Isabel, let's. Do your homework as well. Okay. All right, let's follow. Uh, I think we should. Oh, wait a minute. Let's, get here. let's look at, let's, before we do that, let's. Okay, she's going to do her homework. Keisha's still doing her study, okay. And everything looks good there. Let's 
Okay, let's get into Keisha's fame information. And she's got a really good reputation. Um, she can instantly become friends with pretty much anyone. That's why it was so easy for her to become a friend of the uh, Wild Fangs, which is her brother's pack. Um, she's also got unstoppable fame, so it doesn't matter what she does, um, she, she's still going to be famous. She's going to be world famous. Octavia, that's one of her friends. She's also a member of her party holic um, uh, group. Uh, and I think Octavia has some kids as well. But anyways, Keisha had uh, she's she's got a good reputation. Uh, we did lose uh, one of her one of her um, maybe one or two. Now she's a paparazzi darling, but we did lose the um, entourage sort of thing, where you can call call them. I forget the name of it. Um, where you can call your call your entourage and they just come over and stuff like that. But she's got so much other stuff going on that um, this is still pretty really good. She's got a lot. Uh, she's got a refined palette, though. She, she gets fan mail. She's a little vain. And she's a paparazzi darling. So, um, so those are... there's Those are her, those are her earned quirks. But... Um, other than that, the only thing is the uh, refined palette can get... You know, it's a little bit... You know, eh. Because uh, she, she'll, she'll get... Um, she 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 doesn't like it if it's maybe like spaghetti or something like that to that level. It it, it needs to be something a little bit of better quality for her. Um, she's a little vain, but um, she's doing pretty good on that point. Uh, as far as the vain the vain uh, quirk, excuse me. All right. So Keisha's Keisha's doing good. I think we should look at some other people in the household. Um, but is this food going bad? Let's let uh, Serena. This it is Serena Walker. Uh oh, something's going on with one of the twins. Uh, what's going on there? Homework is complete. Let's see, the dad, he's just doing his thing. Um, so, let's go ahead and make this uh, delicioso. Put some magic on it. Uh, anytime the uh, food goes, the food is spoiled, like it'll be a lot of servings of it, I let someone, uh, one of the adults, uh, one of the spellcasters, which are all adults, I let one of one of them uh, do a delicioso on it, and instant, and fresh food again, so too bad we can't do that in real life. <laughs> Alright, so, let's see. He's making, got him making some more uh, food through magic. Uh, let's sweat. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's say he does. He's gonna like, let's, he's gonna like exercising Zechariah. Okay, that works. And we got some more food coming up just in case people are hungry. It's always there. Those, those toddler high chairs are still there, but we can get rid of those uh, another time. There's other things going on. Okay, let's look at the twins. The twins are having a little tiff right now. There's some kind of argument argument ensuing. But you know, um, with uh, the additional packs, there's an additional pack where 
you can uh, assist your children on responsibility and conflict management, stuff like that. So even though she's a hothead, she uh, um, has a lot of conflict management, even from a toddler. And um, I think she'll be okay. But she's still going to be a hothead. She's still the bad twin. And we're talking about Maribel. See, she's the one that's upset. Let's see how they work it out. I think I'm going to always let them work it out because they've learned conflict management. And eventually, once I get uh, the parents out of school, I'll have them jump in and teach them more conflict management. See, so they're going at it. Oh, boy. Let's see now. Isabel is angry. Maribel's angry. Everyone is just really upset. So let's see how they work it out. Okay. Okay, they are arguing. She's talking about a crayon, I guess. Um, who knows what it is? You know, we don't know. We can only imagine just by seeing these little pics. But it's still pretty neat. <laughs> Alright, so. So they seem to be working it out, actually. Alright, I think they worked it out. So it looks like uh, going to get, get them some food. They resolved the conflict. Maybe. There was an X, so I don't know if that means that they still have a conflict, but that they used it. I'll have to look into that. You know, like they attempted to use conflict management, but they may not have solved their problems. So I suspect that we will see them arguing again. Alright, so here she goes. We're following. I don't know if this is Isabel or Maribel. Okay, let's go to Arturo. Let's throw that away. You know, I usually just drag. What you use, you use the, um, for a live drag, and you can just drag um, old dishes to the trash, and that's just by using the square. You just drag it over there. And it kind of helps with their, um, with the work, you know, instead of them having to do it all the time. So it looks like Arturo's doing his thing. He's probably playing a game or something. Let's see. So I don't have any homework to do. Well, he is sleeping, so maybe we should let him. <laughs> He's gonna need to go to sleep soon. It's getting late. Um, I'm gonna leave him alone for right now. Okay, so we've got some interactions with brother and sister. Okay, Isabella looks like her manners is went up. So that's Maribel downstairs, and she is on her way to do what? Oh, play. <laughs> play a video game. She's going to go to the bathroom.
So we're going to let these kids go to sleep because it's getting late. Okay. So she's she's doing her thing. She's dancing and having a good time, but but you know, they really should go to bed. Alright, so uh, what do we have here? Oh, this is just the collections. We'll let her have a little bit of fun. Uh, she's got to go to the bathroom. This is Serena here. Um, and like I said before, that's the uh, daughter-in-law of Keisha Layton. She remarried and had three kids. So. Now, daughter-in-law Serena is actually married to Jack Layton, and uh, when I left them, something must have happened because they broke up and they don't live together anymore. So I don't know what actually occurred on that part. All right, so here is one of the twins. And, and quick note: if I get confused on which twin is which, I'm just gonna say one of the twins. <laughs> okay, so I'm clicking on. Just clicked on Isabella, so this must be. Okay, let's look at this. So that's her skills. Somebody's having fun. This butler is, is, is cleaning up. He really does a good job, actually, because I don't think I have him set to clean. I just put his uh, duties are to uh, uh, take care of the kids. So, that's pretty good. I think I'm just going to keep him. I don't know how, how that works. Like, if he's going to die. He hasn't slept a day in all the days he's been, he's been here. And he's been here since they were toddlers and, ba and a baby. Um, the the uh, yeah, so at least since they were toddlers. Okay, so this one, she's just having a good time swimming. I think I think what happened was I set her to 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 hygiene. Um, now this one, she's going to sleep. This one is good, but but the the other one, it could be Maribel. Um, the other one is swimming because I set that to hygiene and she decided to go ahead and, and swim. So I'm going to X out Keisha's um, her studies because she's she's got to have some fun. Um, she's getting hungry, stuff like that. So let, let's... Uh, yeah... Yeah, let's go ahead and X, X these out. And I'm just gonna let her let her have fun. And let her eat as well. So uh let's see. I think we'll let let's let's go with um let's see maybe she should cook a meal but she may be too hungry to do that she may just go ahead and start eating um, but I still want you to see her actually cook a meal um yep it looks like she's just gonna eat anyways but I, I want her to cook. Like a high-level meal, so you can see her in action. Because her cooking's all the way up. So let's get a skill. Let's get the skill level to the highest. And pick pick one of these guys. Maybe a 9 or a 10. 
you know, with this meat mash, walk meat, meat mash. Um, and no, maybe not that. Maybe not the meat mash. Okay. All right. She's going to get going on that as soon as she's done eating. Okay, here she goes. Someone can tell me in the comments if I'm, I'm pronouncing uh, Chapino. Is it? It's an Italian dish that they have in here. I think that's what she's cooking right now. And, but you get to see her in action. See her going at it. I think it's Chapino or something like that. Yeah, I think you, you pronounce it Chapino. But if I'm incorrect, let me know. Um, I love Italian food, so. But I haven't had that, so that's something I'm gonna actually look <laughs> look into in real life. Uh, this is really interesting. Like, you know, they have different things like karaoke here. And if you haven't done karaoke and you see how much fun the, the uh, Sims are having with karaoke, that's real. <laughs> karaoke is extremely fun. Uh, especially if you, you enjoy singing. All right, so some of the food went spoiled. So we're going to do the delicioso. So, because everyone's not going to eat just one thing. Um, or if you run out of something, you want to have the other dishes. And just kind of periodically check. Check to see if, if they're if they're actually um, spoiled or not spoiled or whatever. And we can get rid of this dish. And we're just gonna put that in the trash. Yeah. And she's doing some deliciosos, making those meals from spoiled and not spoiled and she's cooking it away system sometimes with the internet if you have if you're having some internet issues sometimes it will slow down and, and you can see especially in this gameplay i'll try to i'll try to record it to where um it's a really good one but sometimes you just can't avoid it okay and yeah, she's she's finishing up her uh, cooking. Cooking looks good. Her fun is is low, so we're gonna have to um, get her in some fun. Um, she's pretty fit. She likes exercising, so. She's, she's, um, she's also on her way to Zenger. We talked about that earlier. Let's look at her rewards. Uh, let's see. So she's got pretty much all the rewards. Um, just the basic stuff I didn't get, like stuff that's 200, 300. Um, didn't, didn't really go into that, but she's got cold acclimation. She's gym rat. She's heat acclimated. She can um, uh, model it, solve her. She's observant. Um, 
Shaker. Okay, yeah, uh, she's a speed reader. Storm chaser. So if it rains and it's storming, she's good. She's creative visionary, entrepreneur. She's uh, heat proof, ice proof, independent, steel bladder. So she's got a lot going on. Antiseptic. So if there was a queen of this world, of, of my sim world, it would be her, uh, Keisha Layton. And I, want, um, I wonder if you guys would be able to play with her. Um, like, look her up. I'll look into that. Uh, I'll keep building, because that's the packs. Uh, as we get new packs, I don't know how many more we'll get. Um, you can add more to your character. You know, different different things. She's hardly hang hungry. She's a great kisser. She's fertile. Now, I did the fertile after, after she was uh, pregnant with the kids. I said, oh man, I forgot to <laughs> add the fertile because I wanted her to have um, um, twins for the, the first one. And I don't remember what I did. But anyways, she was already pregnant when I added the fertile. So I don't know if that affected it or if it, you know, she was either already pregnant. I can't remember if she was pregnant or she had them and I added the fertile. I think she was pregnant. Anyways, um, she's hardly hungry. She's a professional slacker, so she can do anything at work. It doesn't matter. Uh, she's She needs no one. So that whole thing was social. She um, she doesn't need that. She doesn't really need to have a lot of social interactions. Okay, she's brave. Um, it's a retraining potion. Forever fresh, forever full, never worry. Uh, the thing about being brave, it was weird because, um, and you and well, too bad we can't see it now because I've already done it. Where uh, uh, becoming a member of the Wild Fangs, when she witnessed them as werewolves, you know, it was it was a big deal. She ran away and everything, and I thought she was brave. So I don't know. And the werewolves, the werewolves pack is really interesting. Um, I was thinking that I would wait to do the werewolves. Okay, these guys are having some fun. But I think after this stream, um, I'll do something for Monday. So I'll probably post this on Sunday. Um, hopefully, Sunday, June 19th. And then hopefully on Monday, I'll post... The uh, werewolf, um, her brother. I'll do something with him, at least to get into it. <clears throat> I, I think once I get at least one of these guys graduated, like Arturo, so he's doing some stuff. Got him doing some stuff. The kids are, the kids are um, afraid right now because there is a monster. There's a monster. I know this because this happens with kids, and I was just waiting for it to happen. So they they went and got their um, they went and got their. I guess this would be their sister in law, technically, not their aunt, because their brothers. This is their brother's wife, and she's using the spray. Got rid of that monster, and they should be they should be good. It's pretty it's pretty late. Well, pretty early in the morning now, like five forty two, almost six a.m. So, uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do with these kids, but um, let's just go ahead and jump around a little bit. I know Arturo, his energy is low. I guess he's been up all night. Now he's going to go stretch. Uh -oh. Maybe the music was on or something. I don't know why he stayed up all night long. Let's go ahead and uh, we 
we're going to repair that. Uh, that computer's broke, so we're going to repair it. And he should he should go to sleep at least for a little bit. Would be cool <laughs> if he actually went to sleep. I think um, maybe partly the music being on or something, but he, you know, sometimes they just they just don't go to sleep in here. Or maybe something with the kids. It could be anything. Um, his parenting is up to eight, and I think it goes up to ten. So he's pretty high on his par parenting skills. And if there's any issues with the kids, that usually stops them from doing their regular activity. Like if they have to, especially if it's sleep or something like that, they usually um, won't do it. Uh-oh. Looks like Bad Twin is angry about something. I don't know what she's angry about. But that's why we have Hothead. And here we go. Here comes the chat. The second chat we were talking about. And we knew this would happen. That they would, uh, they would have another argument. And, um, oh, wait a minute. Now she's, this one is energized. Her social is not good. Mirabelle is angry. And he hears the conversation. And she's, she's saying, no, no, no. No, I'm not going to have it. It's not happening. And the other good twin is doing her thing. And um, let's jump to Arturo while they figure that out. Because I suspect they'll always have some kind of issue going on. Alright, let's jump into... Yeah, let's jump into the last piece of this video. Not too much longer, maybe about under 30 minutes. And that was a share factory. Just wanted to show that for you guys. Sometimes you can do a little intro. And I was going to do it in the beginning, but I chose the PS4 as a second intro from Tech Junkies. But um, the share factory is pretty cool. That's how I kind of combine it on the PS4. And then I do some more editing. Um, you can use iMovie or Final Cut pro or whatever and you can do more editing uh, from there if you want or just use uh, share factory which was pretty cool uh, let's see so I think with Serena what I want to do is I want to get her age um, back down and I don't want her to become a full uh, adult she's a young adult right now so I wanted to do, I took one of the um, potions from Keisha's inventory, because Keisha's the master spell caster here. She's, she's got everything, um, all kinds of potions. So um, first, let's get Arturo to um, drink this Plentiful Needs potion, sorry. And the reason why I'm doing that for Arturo, we're going to get to uh, Serena later but Arturo he's got a final coming up so I want him to study the thing with the um, finals if you have a little caption coming up that says oh I need to cram or something like that or it wouldn't hurt for Arturo to cram or something like that something something in that excuse me something in that uh, realm or something that uh, wording go ahead and let them study study because it probably means they need to study, and uh, I, hopefully he's he's able to do enough studying. He may not because his class is coming up pretty soon, so he may not do well for his last course. But hopefully it's well enough for him to uh, graduate and and continue forward. So we'll see. All right, so I've got to send him to class. Um, looks like Mirabel and Isabel have already gone to school. Uh, Zachariah needs to go to school too. And 
Chartura's going to school. The only people here, it's Keisha Layton. And she's got a lot going on because today is her busy day. She's got three finals to do today. And we've got to study for each of them because it's going to be hard to uh, get out. She's taking a full load, four courses. And anyone that's been to school knows that four courses is tough. And, and four courses here would be equivalent to if it's undergraduate, college, and U.S. Un uh, university, uh, that would be equivalent to about 18 credit course load, I, I would think, because it is tough, especially with three kids. So, um, so let's see, she is studying. See, let's let's get her to study. Um, let's get her to study the uh, midsummer uh, course. And I haven't tried cheating yet. I may try that eventually with um, uh, one of the twins, maybe later, much later. But like I said, there's so much to do with the werewolf pack. We will definitely go to the werewolf pack after this, after this stream, after we finish this, which I'm probably going to go another 20, 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, well, less than 20 minutes, less than 30 minutes, excuse me. And what I want to do is just make sure one of these guys have graduated, not guys, well, the, the uh, parents, one of them has graduated before and and to make sure that this is completed so what i'll probably do so i've got her studying right so what i'll probably do in the next stream i'm gonna play um it's gonna be it's it's most likely gonna be a partial half and half i'm gonna play some of her and then i'm gonna go right to her brother i'm gonna go right to her brother i'm gonna let you guys see her interact with her brother on her end after we uh, get her graduated. And then I'm going to, and, and also let her interact with the wolf pack, see how that goes for a non-wolf, but she's in, you know, I guess it's the rules are the same for spellcasters and humans. Um, you, you would just, it looks, it looks like you'd just be able to hang out and enjoy their facilities, stuff like that. So I'm, I'm gonna do that, let you guys see that in the next uh, one. Okay, looks like Arturo has put in enough work to get a decent grade. That's usually not that good. That's not a. Uh, it can be iffy. Like he could he could have a he could either have an okay grade or not so good grade. So we we really don't know. Um, and I don't know what the rules are, but his GPA was pretty high. He's he had a A minus, but he's not. You know, he, he's kind of on the border for, for, um, okay, what's going on here, Zachariah? Musical volunteering. So this is basically saying, should he let another kid go forward and, and do the, uh, do his thing? Uh, teachers looking for the right. Him, Zachariah. Let's send the other kid. Okay, so let's send the other kid. Because Zachariah is a good kid. Let's let the other kid get the stage and, and uh, do his thing. All right, and we're at Keisha. Keisha is... Is she doing her paparazzi thing or is she going to class? She's going to class. But this right here, see this lady here? That's the paparazzi, I believe. They always pop up. She just disappeared. She went away. But um, Keisha's in class, and she's going to have back-to-back -back finals. So she's going to have, uh, she's going to have uh, all, all three uh, finals left. I think she has three more finals left to do out of her four classes, I believe. And let's go to Arturo. He's finished school, so I'm just going to let him do whatever he wants to do. Um, or I can let him meditate, too. I think if I could just let him meditate. I'm not going to do anything with his age just yet. 
and I'm really contemplating going back and forth on whether I should let him and Keisha. Um, I'm definitely going to give him the immortality potion. If I do that, I can let them both just grow old. And um, when we go to, to her brother, he's already ranked up to the uh, top of his werewolf rank. I can't remember what the name of it is. So Tour is just doing his thing. He is partying away and having a good time. Okay, so Keisha puts in enough work and gets a decent grade. See, I really I really like it when it's not this statement. When it says something to the effect that she confidently turned in her her um, homework and, and such and such, that's when you know, okay, she did really good. So, so when they get like a decent grade, that kind of makes me nervous, you know, kind of like when you're, you're in school and what I should have done was check with the professors because they'll tell you too, and that, that may have helped. But again, there's so much going on with, with all the children. And, um, so I'm going to let him meditate. So he's doing his meditation. Uh, the bills have arrived and anyone can pay the bills. And their bills aren't really that much, considering how much they make. She makes about off of interest, because she doesn't really she doesn't go to work at all. No one works here, by the way. But she gets a certain percentage of her total uh, savings. So it's about eight hundred and seventy something. I think it's like five percent. So it's like forty something thousand dollars. And you you just saw it was like a little bit over eleven thousand. I don't know if it was eleven five or if it, I wasn't paying attention that she actually paid for bills per week. So she's actually netting at least 30K a week. Plus she has um, royalty fees coming in from her DJ work and her, um, I'm talking about Keisha Layton. Um, she, and uh, all those royalty fees coming in from licensing, you can only license one song by the, by the way. So she's licensed a song. And once that, once that takes its, uh, um, uh, uh, continues through and and I think it's about a week that you get to uh, um, benefit from that somebody can correct me if I'm wrong on that by the way in the comments but um she can once once you do that she can also uh, do another licensing right so so now it looks like I believe she's got to go to another class remember I said it was back to back to back so um I think she has another final coming up. Why hasn't she left yet? She's just having fun. Okay. Her final exam is in an hour. Keisha class starts in about an hour. So she should study. That's really what she should do. Um... Is it going to make a difference? I don't know. I really don't know. But um, it has in the past made a difference. And we're, we're going to let her study for the class coming up. Mm. Looks like it's King Jir. So let's let her study for... King Jir? Was that King Jir? It was 1252, 1.30. Um, study for King Jir. And you see the others are um, not, you, you can't um, select two of them. That means she's all done with those courses, especially since she's so close to graduation. Those courses are done, and usually, and two, if it's like a homework thing, those those courses will will not be selectable. So right now she's doing her King Jir thing, and her husband is doing his uh, is doing his his meditation. Hey, this is a pretty good thumbnail, guys. Let me know. I think I'm gonna use this thumbnail just like how it is, just like how it is with her studying. And her husband, and you got the pods and the uh, view and everything. I may use this as a thumbnail for this, for this, uh, 
for this video. So we'll see. Still thinking about it, going back and forth. But it looks like a pretty good thumbnail. It really shows the San Mushino um, city, which is, uh, I guess this would be like a replica of New York City, sort of, <laughs> maybe, uh, or or a city, a big city. I, I like. The uh, living in this city, I like her uh, penthouse. I've I've been looking for something better, but uh, just can't seem to find anything that me particularly that I would rather her live in. Like she's lived in the um, Polynesian island version of The Sims, where it's like islands. Um, I forget the name of it uh, of that pack or that. Um, not that pack, but, but that location. So she's going to class right now. I'm going to take her final. And let's see. Everyone else is still at school. Okay. She's uncomfortable. I I wonder why. <laughs> Taking three finals in a day, I would be uncomfortable too. I don't think we'll ever do this again. Unless it's one of the kids. I really don't know if we should take four classes. Even if it's, it's the kids going to school and we decide, all right, we're going to do the kids. And we're going to do Discovery University. Um kind of thing series where we show the kids going to school once they get to that age um, and I'll be going back and forth between different the two main families I'm gonna go back and forth is gonna be Keisha's core family and again her brother and what I may do what I might might do is because her brother lives with uh, someone um, I might do some genetic work with Keisha, with her brother, and give him a twin sister. So you guys can see, and the twin sister should be a werewolf. So, so it says here, Keisha put in enough to, work to get a decent grade. There goes that decent grade again. All right, so... And, and that's the idea I'm thinking about for her brother. Because he doesn't get along with his roommate at all. I mean, it's, it's really not good. So what I'm thinking is I may move that roommate out. And Keisha's already given her brother, um, she gave him about 50, 50, 40 or 50,000 Samoans. Or 30, 30,000, I can't remember. And he's already living in the place, so it's like he could move somewhere else. Um, what I'm going to do, what I'm doing right here with Serena, is I'm going to give her the potion of rejuvenation. Like I was saying earlier, I don't want her to age up just yet. She's right now. She's a young adult. I don't want that. I want her to be. Uh, I want her to stay a young adult for a little bit longer. Yeah, so she's gonna. I'm, I'm gonna keep her as a young adult because she's gonna age up soon. Um, so I'm gonna keep her as a young adult, and I'm I'm thinking back and forth. Another member of uh, the group. It was one of the vampires, and I don't think I mentioned this. I may or may not have mentioned it, but Keisha actually uh, got she she used the I think it's like an anti-vampire potion and fought fought all the vampires in this uh, in my game um, but I think there's still one or two somewhere I haven't found them yet so they're not vampires but she gave them the right of ascension she gave uh, um, oh, what was her name I can't remember her exact name but we'll we're gonna go visit them uh, she has a brother, she lives in the uh, vampire town, um, and there's an old vampire, I can't remember his name either. <laughs> you guys are going to get this a lot where I'm like, I can't remember his name. I mean, I just know, I know where they, 
they lived and everything. Um, but but you came to Right Ascension and they're spellcasters now. And um, recently I gave her the potion of immortality. I'm just going to leave it like that. Because since they were vampires, I was thinking, well, it kind of sucks that that they're going to end up dying because the uh, older vampire did die. He did pass away and it was like, oh no, I didn't want that to happen. But I hadn't paid attention. He was old. And uh, he wasn't a vampire anymore. He's a spellcaster. So he passed away. Um, so I got to get her brother because I think he's old. And I need to get him the uh, potion or he's going to pass away too. But um, that's if we can remember <laughs> to do it. I can I can get a hold of him. I think what I might do is just call him. Um, I gotta write that down. There's a couple of things I have to do on my list. So Serena, she's good. She already she took the potion and she's young again. And that's just that's good. But um, let's see. Okay, the twins. He should got enough work in. Okay, so she she got a decent grade. All right. So after we figure out their grades and everyone settle, has this been a pretty long uh, uh, video? After we get the grades, I'm gonna and and we kind of settle them in. I'm gonna go ahead and, and stop this video. But I will be back once I once I stop it. But I want to see what the grades are gonna be. Um, so the final exam is done. She's got all these final exams completed. Okay. Me and she's a silver screen. The whole thing behind this is to see if she's going to get paid more. So, okay, she's sleeping, worn out. I would be too. And let's look at the kids because I haven't been paying attention to them. Zechariah. You really need to stay on top of them. So when I leave, it's going to be tough because their grades could go down. You don't know. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to come back and check on them periodically. But the werewolf pack again. So the werewolf pack is really good. Um, I'm really enjoying it. So let's see. Um... But I wanted to get this taken care of first because there's a lot, as you can see, there's a lot going on with Keisha and her family. A lot, a lot of loose ends. Okay, final grades are in. So she's got, uh, so her turn GPA is a B. And okay, so she will be graduating. She will be graduating. All right. C minus, A, C, and an A plus. Okay, and I think Arturo, okay, Arturo, his GPA is a B minus, but see what, term GPA, D, so I don't know how that's going to work. Um, this quite an early in Keisha's graduation ceremony from the University of Berchester is tomorrow. Time to celebrate. Okay. <laughs> So she's good to graduate. Now, is Arturo going to graduate? Even with a D minus? How's that work? Her graduation is tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe he will. Maybe he still will graduate. Because his, G his GPA is, is still really high. And her GPA is actually less. Um... I don't know how that works. 
But if it says he's graduated, because I don't think there's a ceremony or anything like that that you can actually see them go to, I think it's just going to say he's graduated. Um, it, it'll just be some, some kind of notification that says he has graduated already or he's graduated. I want to check. I'll see if I miss it because uh, I'm jumping all over the place with the kids and their hunger and their needs. The energy levels. See, I usually have to pause it and just kind of click on things for them to do. She needs to go to sleep. She's gonna have some fun first. That was Maribel. Let's go to Isabel. Isabel is really tired. I mean, they've got homework and projects to do, but they need to go to sleep. That's for sure. Guys, this has been really fun. I am. This has actually been more fun. You know, I've been playing The Sims for years. Literally years. Since the first Sims. And um, it, it always gets better. There's always, even though there's some things from other packs that you say, Oh, I wish I had this or that or whatever. But it actually does get better. Um, look at the Werewolves pack. The Werewolves pack is, I like the Werewolves pack. And it, it, like even there were some things with the Werewolves pack, like the, uh, the way they look. I wanted them to look more gruesome, but I kind of got used to seeing, you know, how they look. So, and as you can see here, there's different projects. So I'm going to put their projects out for the kids. Or at least one project. This is Zachariah's project. I didn't even know. But, um, I figured it out and was like, you know, oh, wait a minute. There's a project in here. Because I, I got a notification before. I'm like, same thing with college. Um, when they're kids, there's projects that they need to do. So, he's going to have to do his project. The kids are going to have to do their projects. It's a lot um, for them to do. But not as much as taking four classes like what Keisha had. I think they can handle that, these projects and stuff like that. Will they be able to handle it when I leave and go to the werewolf pack? I don't know. That's going to be interesting. Um, so, we'll see. So, we're going to... Uh, end this stream pretty soon. So I'm just going to let it play out a little bit. Instead of talking through, I've been talking quite a bit, but but when, you, when you're when um, you playing, or even if, you, even if you've done it, and you're re-recording, you start to notice things, and you just can't help, <laughs> you can't help but talk. Talk it through. Um, and that was the case for this one. I had to re-record it, because there was an issue um, with with my headset and the uh, PlayStation controller. It's the wrong, the wrong headset. You have to. It's more of a physical interface thing. And I can actually, I might actually do a video on that. You need you need a certain specification. You can't use an Apple uh, headset to record, or you'll get some uh, reverberation. You get some issues. So. Uh, let's see. Mm, I'm just going to let it play out, guys. And really, I want to say thank you for um, watching. And uh, uh, please definitely like or subscribe, comment, let me know what you all are thinking. You know? And uh, really appreciate. Really appreciate you guys uh, uh, coming by and, uh, well, not coming by, but, but taking a look at our videos. Take care.